Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to really showcase another um, divisibility and remainders question that we're going to solve using the whiteboard. So let's get started. So here's the question. The question says, what is the remainder when n plus 7 is divided by 8? So we've got to find the remainder over here. So we don't know anything about n. Uh, we don't know whether it's an integer, whether it's a, a, a negative number, a positive number, if it's a decimal. But let's kind of get started uh, with this. So essentially, we have to express n plus 7 as 8k plus something. So let's get started. And let's look at statement 1. So statement 1 says that 7n plus 42 is, is divisible by 8, which means 7n plus 42 is equal to 8k, which really implies that uh, we can take 7 common. If we take 7 common and you can say n uh, plus 6 is equal to 8k. Now we know, you know, the, on the left hand side, we have a product of two numbers and we know 7 clearly is not divisible by 8. So this means n plus 6 is divisible by 8. So what this means is n plus 6, 6, sorry, n plus 6 is equal to 8k. So what this means is when you have, and what we have to figure out, what's the remainder for n plus 7? So which what is n plus 7? We add one on both sides and we say, hey, n plus 7 is equal to, remember n plus 7 it was 8k, so or rather we say n plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 8k plus 1, which means the remainder is 1. So statement 1 seems sufficient because we have to figure out what the remainder is. Now let's look at statement 2 over here and, and we can use the pan tool, move up, go over here. Uh, let's look at statement 2. Statement 2 says n plus 14 is, is, is divisible by 8, okay? So, which means n plus 14 is equal to 8k. Now, remember, we, we, we actually had to, uh, 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 had to get to n plus 7. So, I think uh, let's kind of divide this and we say, hey, I know that let's kind of subtract 8 from both sides. Why? Because that's this 14 is greater than 8. So, we say n n plus n plus 14 minus 8 uh, is equal to 8 k minus 8 or in other words we say hey n plus 6 is equal to 8 and brackets k minus 1 or what it also means is that n plus 6 is divisible by 8 which means when you get to n plus 7, as we read ab above, the remainder would be 1. So statement 2 by itself is also sufficient. So our answer choice is choice D, that either statement by itself is sufficient. We do this and we move forward to the next question.